Hello, all people are leaderless in the face of Islamic extremism. British nationalism should now be the voice of the forgotten and beleaguered people of this country. British nationalism should be leading the fight back against Islamic extremism. British nationalism should be the voice of the families whose loved ones were murdered at the Manchester Arena. We should be talking to those people. We should be standing candidates in their communities, talking to their friends, talking to their neighbours, getting councillors elected and giving these people a voice because those people have been forgotten about and abandoned. And also, those people whose loved ones were murdered at the Manchester Arena, they know Islamic terrorism isn't going away. It's here to stay. And they know they have been abandoned. But sadly, it looks like it's all going to be left to the likes of Tommy Robinson. I'm sure they'll wheel Tommy Robinson out surely. He'll call for a march, a demo, whatever, uh, which will descend into the usual pantomime and circus, comedy sketch, violence, confrontation. He'll hoover up all the angry heads, which in turn will scare away 99.999% of the good people, which it's intended to do. You see, Tommy Robinson was created by the state in 2009 after the BMP had two MEPs elected to the European Parliament, Nick Griffin and Andrew Bronze. The state anticipated more electoral victories and successes for the BMP. Never in their wildest dreams that they believe they were going to take the BMP from Nick Griffin as easily as they did. They didn't need Tommy Robinson to do it. They took the BMP from Nick Griffin. Hope not hate agents Adam Walker and Clive Jefferson. But Tommy Robinson has remained to hoover up the support and take it down a dead-end alley of violence and confrontation while scaring the good people away. That's the role of Tommy Robinson. We need British nationalism because the fight ahead is a fight only British nationalism can win. Nigel Farage is okay, but there's a red line. He knows he can't step over and he's not going to. The fight ahead is a fight only British nationalism can win. Nick Griffin, he's abandoned us, he's walked away. He's in a silly world now, romanticism and fight designers, capitalists and other such hogwash he's coming out with. You need to pick the baton back up again and get back in there, right? Our people are crying out, but you're not going to, right? That shows you what sort of person you are, right? Because it's all down to you why British nationalism no longer exists. No one else, you. And it's also down to you why our people don't have a voice anymore. We can offer our people a political solution. Trust me, we can. They don't want a violent one, the one Tommy Robinson offers. They want a sensible political solution and we can offer them that. Those families whose loved ones were murdered at the Manchester Arena, we should be their voice. We should be in their communities, towards their friends, their neighbours. We should be getting councillors elected, but we're not. The job's been left to Tommy Robinson. We need British nationalism for the fight ahead because, believe me, the fight's coming. Okay, thank you.